Hello, Michael here with another RenderMan 22 tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at batch rendering. So the first thing everyone needs to know about batch rendering with RenderMan 22 is that it is unsupported for any Maya version in 2018 below 20, uh, 2018.2. So make sure you upgrade to 2018.2 or higher. This is 2018.4 that I'm on here for this example. Uh, secondly, make sure that you've saved your scene and you've set your project, otherwise the um, the batch won't have anywhere to render out to. So if you've got your animation, I've just got a little walk cycle here. Um, I actually have some issues with this one, but this is the only animation that I had handy, so we're going to just roll with this. It's a decent little walk cycle. Um, first thing we need to do is go up to our render settings. Make sure that you've got RenderMan set as your renderer, obviously. Um, go to the RenderMan uh, tab and you can select if you wish to have denoise on or off i'm going to have denoise off with this one i've noticed some issues with cross frame denoise that could be specific to this project as well because i've i've sort of sent this across from uh render man uh 21 so i think it could have some issues with the with the old shaders or something um so you can put it on single frame or cross frame you probably you want it on cross frame if you're doing an animation uh cross frame will look at both uh, the frame and the frame next to it to determine whether or not it should remove noise or how it should remove noise. So when you're rendering animation, that's the best one to do. Um, for all of your AOVs, you need to set what type of file um, you want to export it as. So this is as an open EXR. You can do PNG, Targa, um, etc. If you want to do denoising, it needs to be on open EXR. I would recommend that you use OpenEXR for most situations because you get a 32-bit depth. Um, under here, you need to set your frame range to animation. Um, so your start uh, frame and end frame. Um, so this is 24 frames. I'd set it to 1 and 24 if I wanted to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do 5 for the sake of time. Um, and then all your basic render settings are the same. Which cam you're going to render whether or not you want alpha channels and z-depth with your renders. If you're using OpenEXR, that's where you'll get those channels. So far as your output directory goes, it will go into your project folder under the images folder, and then it'll create a subdirectory for your batch animation. Um, so that's the basics. So once you've got that set, we're gonna go up to render man and we're gonna go batch render. Then it's gonna spool up the render. Um, so you'll see it's got a task here. If you've got denoising active, you'll have a few more tasks. It will have a task per denoising uh, frame. So um, I've just got this at a very low um, sample rate. I think it's 32. Um, so this should render fairly quickly. So I'll just skip ahead and show you where the render comes out to. Okay, once your render is complete, you'll have your elapsed render time shown. So if you're trying to work out what your render time is going to be for your render um, per frame, you might want to batch out a single frame. Um, it's not going to be the same as doing an IPR um, if you are just a single render to IT. Um, the reason for that is it takes a little bit longer to spool up and load textures and stuff. So um, your total render time will be slightly longer than if you just extrapolated a single render from a single render frame using that button. So in your project folder you will have the images directory you want to go into there and then your animation and it'll have all your renders um, if you have um, denoise enabled you will also have the filtered um, renders as well as a separate exr um, so i'll just open one of these in photoshop um, so you can see this is a pretty nasty render if i had denoise on it looks a lot better um, but if you want to preview it or if you're looking to do a quick comp, you can use Photoshop. Select your first um, render and then select image sequence and it will detect all the images in the sequence and then set your frame rate to the same frame rate that you animated it at. And then you can spool across your timeline and you'll see the issue that I'm having here with this one. Um, I might need to just re-import this, this asset and this walk cycle. But yeah, for some reason the hand is not moving and I have been yet to figure that one out. But yeah, that's just quickly how... Um, you'd go about doing a batch render. It's very straightforward. So um, hopefully that's helped out anyone there that's having problems with that. Um, again, make sure that your version of Maya, if you're on 2018, is set to 20, is upgraded to 2018.2 or higher. That way you'll have it working. Um, further to that, if you're looking for more Render Man tutorials, make sure you are subscribed as I'll be doing a couple a week for the next few months or so uh, while I catch up on all the Render Man 22 features. 
Um, and if you want to check out more of my work, check the description below for links and um, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, hopefully you liked this tutorial. If you did, click the like button. Other than that, enjoy your renders. And until next time, happy rendering.